Love a good southern romance, which is why I wrote Smosh's Summer Secrets. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've never actually told you guys, but my family actually has a farm in Georgia. And I think us city kids should go there to try to rediscover who we are before the city eats us up, spits us out. Damien spits. <laughs> oh my gosh, that sounds fantastic, D-Man. Y'all, let's get to packing and go to Georgia. Yeehaw! Who would have thought we each have secret babies? All three of us pregnant at the same time? I'm woozy with excitement. <laughs> Courtney passes out. <gasps> oh. As the hot Georgia heat beats down on Damien, he sweats as he picks peaches and gingerly places them in his basket, a la Red Riding Hood. Kimmy stumbles off a path. Oh, whoa, Justin B was right. You do get peaches out in Georgia. I've been wandering this peach orchard for hours. I gotta sit down. Damien sits down next to Kimmy. Here, eat this peach. We'll get your energy back. <laughs> we don't want you getting the vapors like Courtney. <laughs> Damien shoves the peach into her mouth and <laughs> leans in a little closer. And hopefully this can stay in the orchard, but I made 247 Kimmy in edits. <gasps> the peach drops out of Kimmy's mouth. A beat. I made the other 10. <gasps> the two star-crossed lovers look at each other. They go to embrace, but they can't because Kimmy is so abundantly <laughs> pregnant. I can't, it's not, it's not good. But know this, Jackie does have my heart and my life. We will live a very happy life together. But you, Kimmy Jimenez, have a hold on my lungs. I can't breathe without my lungs. <gasps> That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. <laughs> Kimmy begrudgingly breaks the spell and takes her hands back. I have to go. Thank you for my Georgia peach. You, Damien Haas, are my peach. Ooh. Kimmy leaves through the thorny brambles. <laughs> <laughs> That was good. Damien falls to his knees with his hands on his lungs, hurt over the love he will never, ever, ever, never, not in a hundred bajillion years ever have with Kimmy. And the following was delivered in a thick southern accent. Well, I do declare, there are some shenanigans afoot. I, for one, came here to offer my home to y'all who I consider my kin, and I feel betrayed. So rather than talk about our feelings as adults who have regular access to mental health resources, I have a proposition. The men will put their car keys into this fishbowl. <laughs> the women will then close their eyes and pick a key out of the bowl. That will determine which mate you will spend the rest of your life with. I say, I say, are there any grievances? <laughs> are there any grievances? Okay, here I go. Well, process of elimination. I will now choose <laughs> who I will be spending my life. I'm literally the only one standing here. And raising Damien Jr. with. Okay, now you're being a jerk. Who drives a Prius? I drive a Mazda. <laughs> <gasps> the room gasps. Everyone looks around confused. Garrett appears. Guess you're spending your life with me. <laughs> Again, Garrett's unhinged. <laughs> I'm only mean because my heart is broken from not having a mama for my dog named Damien. And since you're having a baby named Damien Jr., it only makes sense. I've been playing the long game, Jackie. Trying to overwork you and make you feel bad so that eventually Damien would invite you all to his farm slash orchard and it would lead us here. So what do you say? I have pride. I have- Not right now, no. Oh. <laughs> I say, Yes, Garrett. I will be your baby dog mama. Garrett and Jackie hug. What about me? You can be our third. You mean it? Always. I love love. Aww, Aww Courtney. Courtney. <laughs> wow. Uh, Holy crap, Jackie. Yeah, there's a reason that was last. <laughs> God damn. If we need to cut mine for time, that's okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll go with Jackie and gain the ability to have a crush on every goddamn person on me. <laughs> <laughs> the ability to become the human embodiment of the Freeform Channel. My heart hurts.
hurts knowing that Courtney Ruth is no longer with us and that I never got to read this piece to her. <sighs> this piece is titled Courtney Miller, A Dairy Tale by Jacqueline Uwe. Thank you. Fade in on a blustery Thursday at a local dairy farm in the heart of Los Angeles, California. <laughs> a cocoa-skinned, towering goddess of a woman named Maggie <laughs> pushed her way into the barn. Her breath caught when she happened upon the most breathtaking species she had ever seen. Not a cow, not a goat but a medium height, roughly five foot, five inch cornucopia of a woman. <laughs> the woman's hair was the color of freshly chewed straw thrown up by a horse, <laughs> with brown roots the color of dirt that newborn piggies rolled around in. Her eyes the color of a freshly born bluebird covered in its mother's placenta. A farm-fed woman indeed, <laughs> with a personality screaming, I wish I was home right now. <laughs> <laughs> the woman introduced herself. Hi, I'm Courtney. <laughs> Want some milk? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she takes in Courtney's magnificence. Courtney dons thigh-high purple leather boots with a six-inch heel. A sliver of pale, milky white skin peeps out between the boot and the cut-off culottes she got from her grandma. <laughs> On top, she wears a cut-off green tank that reads, Hello? <laughs> All expertly strapped into a seatbelt corset bustier stolen from a local baby's car seat. <laughs> Overcome and overheated, Mackie starts to choke. Courtney slaps her across the back, flap, 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 to help her find her sweet release. Mackie passes out. <laughs> when she comes to, she's in an identical seatbelt corset bustier, purple thigh-high leather boots, and a cropped tank top that says, goodbye? <laughs> What's that sound? To her right, she sees Courtney's cow-cut hair through the window, bobbing and weaving in perfect time. What is this angel up to now? She finds Courtney on the porch, churning butter like the rent is due. <laughs> <laughs> up and down, up and down, she works to create the most luscious cream east of the Mississippi. <laughs> Courtney looks up at Mackie. Why don't you sit a spell? <laughs> and gestures to the churning station she already set up for Mackie. Mackie sits down on the wooden throne. Follow me. <laughs> Courtney works the butter churn up and down and up and down. Mackie follows but can't keep up. Up and down, up, down, down, and down, up. The rhythm is off. <laughs> Courtney pulls her calloused hands and puts them over Mackie's to help her. Down, up. Down, up, churn, 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 flap, flap, flap. Fade to black. End of cold open. <laughs> this is my TV pilot I wrote. <laughs> um, if anybody is in the industry, um, I feel free to take a copy. Rest in peace, Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> I put my headshot on it. Maggie <laughs> uh, like, is the main character. She is the main character. Here's the thing. The next time Jacqueline Uwe has a crush on someone, <gasps> you wouldn't have to do anything because mm. they should recognize you're a goddamn goddess. Okay. And they should, you shouldn't have to do anything. But I said, like, maybe you crack a little joke. <laughs> amen, amen. Uh, what would I consider a perfect date? Dingo! You move back to a small town in the countryside. <laughs> <laughs> where you meet a local ranch hand who writes poetry in his free time, <laughs> despite being a total hunk. You both decide to have a picnic and glasses of wine near a tree and gorgeous river. It leads to passion. Uh! Then you both ride horses as the sun sets. Also, he can do a flip. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm so turned on right now. <laughs>
Can you read it? Shane, I love the fiction, the fan fiction, the rival. It doesn't have to be fiction. I, I think this could, this, this could be your life. This could happen. This right. sounds fake as hell. No, I believe this. I, <laughs> What's the first sentence of that say, though? You move back to a small town in the countryside. <laughs> oh, right. no. That sounds like I moved back to Stockton. <laughs> no, no, this is, this is not, this is not Stockton. Would I? No, this is not Stockton. Good answer. Because it was super specific as well, in yeah. a way that was specific to me, not yeah. to a random book you might find in the library. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> or in the free section on Audible. Hi, I'm Jackie. I'm single. We knew that. But that doesn't mean I haven't been in relationships. So today we're going to meet some of my exes. Oh. <laughs> Your feet are out again. What do you mean? I've always had my feet out. I, know. I work the stables best that way. <laughs> I can sense what the horses need through my feet. What <laughs> initially attracted you to me? I remember like yesterday, you would take little saucy romance novels and read them in the back of the Barnes and Noble by yourself or secret like. Mm -hmm. But then you decided to write one of your own. Mm -hmm. You created me, but a humble, Stable hands in a pirate village. <laughs> <laughs> Fell in love with the captain's daughter, riding our horses yeah. down on the sand mm -hmm. on my big old 19 inch peninsula. It was 19 inches on the cover. It was a big book. Yeah. <laughs> You're truly the only beauty that I've ever truly known because you created me from nothing and I have no memories from before then, so. <laughs> What's my biggest flaw? You know, it's a big flaw. To me, but maybe not to you. You know, it's fine. Whenever you wrote our stories and you went back and read them, mm -hmm. that's when I get to really live them with you. Mm -hmm. And uh, you would always read the parts where I was pleasing the woman. And then when it was my turn, you would skip to the next time in the later pages when I was pleasing the woman again. So I never truly really ever have ever finished in my life. <laughs> and that's fine, it's fine. It's your book. It's just me and the horses at the end of the day. And you know, uh, as many books as there are that write about that, it's not what I'm into. <laughs> Why did we break up? I wasn't enough for you. You're always off reading other romance novels, Jay. Mad, bad, and dangerous in plaid. It's a good one. Aroused by two lions. Punishment from the Minotaur herd. Sleeping with the fishes. These are all real romance novels, by the way. <laughs> look it up. I know. Yeah. I don't have to look it up. I read them. You were unfaithful, Jay, and that's why I had to leave your dreams forever. You, you and me were one and the same in fantasy land. You were me and I am you. <sighs> We have magic toes. Yeah, right we now. do. Yeah. Sorry about the calluses. Ignore those. <laughs> Some kicking off, kicking the shit. Is, yeah. and I, and I, thought, I don't kick the horses. No. No. The Unless shit. you wrote me to, I would. No, I, would I will never kick do that. whatever horse you write me to do. I would never do that. Okay. Sick. <laughs> did you keep any secrets from me while we were together? Truth is, I did finish once. What? One time, I was walking through the stables one day. The stallion turns to me. Oh. Becky the Stallion. With the good mane. With the good mane and tail. <laughs> Becky said, there's just a mermaid rearing to go, just rolling around in the sand wall by herself. And I was like, I'll go see if she's interested. And I went, and it was, it was okay. I didn't know where to go. I didn't know where to go. Not worth writing about, I'm sorry. You don't, even, you don't want to write about that one. So you cheated on me to help me? It's right for your art. Just My as art. like you did for, on me. I tried to immerse myself so. elsewhere. I don't know if I like that. But that's okay. Good <laughs> you moved on to Christian Grey. Yeah, I know you read that one. I did. You did, <laughs> I know. With his chains and whips. Gross. You have chains and whips though with the horse? For the horses to, get, to keep them safe and secure and moving fast. <laughs> if you had the last word, what would you say? The horses are calling. <laughs> <laughs> I hope someone out there does this to you every day. Yes, sir. I can't just put fresh lip gloss on. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Never forget that. I hope you remember it. I'll always remember that.
Okay, Jackie. What the frick is going on? The toner guy and me are in love. Oh, oh Jackie! Oh, 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 nice! Or at least we will be once I charm him. Okay, okay. Is there any way that we can help you with that? Well, I have this like this dumb meat cute idea. It's really stupid and personal, but I would need some help pulling it off. This is a safe space. You have my full support. I'm all in. Okay. Our mission today, Operation Capture the Toner Guy's Heart. <laughs> Step one, I meet the toner guy at the front door, looking hot as fuck, might I add. <laughs> the booty's out. Then I pretend to lead him to the printer, which I've already hidden and replaced with a candlelit dinner. Step two, we will need to immediately throw him off guard. He can never know what's coming next, which is why he will throw crickets at him. Oh. Crickets? to create the perfect balance of an indoor-outdoor experience. <sighs> Amateurs. Step three, Shane will enter dressed as the late and deeply missed Steve Irwin, who will be wrestling a crocodile. Oh, shit! Ah, he's going to be a game! He's going to be a game! Why am I Steve Irwin? To reinstate the hope that love will never die. Right, mm. okay, sure. Yes. And then BAM! Ian rolls in with knives, ready to fucking go. He leaps into the air and he stops the toner guy! Whoa. Uh, have you ever considered just asking him out? And why does Ian have knives? Uh, to send a message, duh. I thought y'all were my friends. Uh, they're just scared. <sighs> no, it's fine, you know. I guess I'll just die alone, since that's what y'all want, apparently. I feel like it should be a theater production. I love that, I love that. That's very you. I appreciate that. What do you, you mean? <laughs> we could write a scene for our hand puppets. Yes, that would be the most. <laughs> Once upon a land before time. <laughs> no! Oh, 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 whoa. Whoa. This is soft now. This is soft core. Uh, they did say they hunted in packs. <laughs> Jurassic World looks different. I just want to be friends. Me too. I just want to be friends, but maybe in the same time uh, next week? Yeah. If there's not a comet or anything that hits us, maybe yeah. next time. Yeah, <laughs> next week. Uh, maybe, just yeah. not Tuesdays, because yeah. I have AA. Yeah, I don't really do relationships, so. That, no, neither do I. But okay. this is good for now. Thanks. 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 See ya. Bye. I can't tell uh, if I'm watching uh, <laughs> Land Before Time or Euphoria. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not here. Two bats, both alike in dignity, <laughs> in fair Batrona, where we lay our scene. Oh, Romeo! Yes, Bat Juliet? I wanna kiss you! No, we're from two different places. We don't have to tell our father. Okay, meet me at the party. I'll look at you through an aquarium. Okay. Before? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god!